welcome to Tales from My Mini Farm. My name is Jennifer and I work at the South Valley's Library, but today I want to show you what's growing in my yard and who's living here. We have a small garden in our backyard. We're not very experienced gardeners, but we are trying a lot of different crops this year. We have peas, broccoli, radishes, carrots, cucumbers, cantaloupe, lettuce, tomatoes, peppers, garlic, onions, strawberries, and herbs like parsley, cilantro, rosemary, chives, and mint. This is the chicken coop and run built by my husband. He's a big fan of the Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, a Premier League soccer team. Their former home stadium was called White Hart Lane, so he named our coop White Hen Lane as a tribute. We added this extra fenced yard so that the chickens could free range while still being safe from our two dogs and keeping the hens away from the garden. They really love to eat those tender young plants. We have five chickens, all different breeds and personalities. They're named after our favorite female sitcom characters. This is Leslie Nope. She is a buff Orpington. She is very fluffy and the friendliest of the flock. She lays a brown egg almost every day. This one is Amy Santiago, a barred rock hen who also lays brown eggs. She is the alpha chicken of the group. While I wouldn't call her aggressive, she is certainly not scared of humans and she is very curious. She'll sometimes sneak up on you if you have your back turned and give you a little peck. This one is Liz Lemon, an olive egger. As her name suggests, she lays beautiful olive green eggs. Olive eggers come from breeding a chicken that lays brown eggs with a chicken that lays blue eggs. Liz is also the most vocal of our flock. We're not sure what she's saying, but she sure talks a lot. This is Bev Goldberg, an Americana. She also lays green eggs. I love her colors and the silly feathers on her face. And finally, this one is Eleanor Shellstrop, a California white. Eleanor is our most high-strung and independent chicken. The only way to catch her is to wait until she falls asleep. She should be laying regularly, but she hasn't laid an egg since last spring. When she is laying, she lays white eggs. As you can see, she is perfectly healthy and eats and drinks well. We think she is just stubborn and wants to go her own way. We also have a fish pond with a waterfall in our yard. The fish don't have names, but some of them have lived with us for many years. A pond like this is often called a koi pond, but only some of our fish are koi. They are the more decorative fish with barbels. That is what their whiskers are called. The other fish in our pond are common goldfish. Some were one at school carnivals and others are just from the pet store. Many of our fish were born right here in the pond. Both koi and goldfish are types of carp. This pond and the fish inside attract many other animals like raccoons, hawks, and neighborhood cats. We even had a pair of ducks floating around a couple of weeks ago. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you would like to find out more about gardening, chickens, or fish, you can find plenty of books in our library catalog or information on, in our online databases like Explora and Worldbook. Visit our website, washoecountylibrary.us, and join us for fun Tales and Tales virtual programming all summer long. Don't forget to log your reading and mark your bingo card for summer, the Summer Reading Challenge. Bye-bye.